In this video, we will have a quick recap on what are the important rules to remember while writing the IUPAC names. Let's see each of them and I try to understand how to actually use these rules in various problems. So the first rule to remember is that the numbers are essentially separated from the groups by hyphens and while you are writing the name, there should be no space given between two names. To understand that, let's look at an example here. You have 6 ethyl, 2 methyl, no name and if you look at this closely, you can see that the number is essentially separated from the group using hyphen and there should be no space between two words here or two groups here. Now second thing to consider is that if you have multiple substituents or multiple identical substituents here, then the numbers are essentially separated by commas. For that, look at the structure here, you can see that all the substituents are nothing but methyl and you have 2 methyl at C2 position and 1 methyl at C4 position. So based on that, the identical substituents are actually separated by using commas. So here, the name of this particular compound would be 224-trimethylpentane. Why? Because there are 3 methyl groups and they are at 2, 2 and 4th position. The third rule to consider is that while writing the name of substituents in alphabetical order, iso and neo are the only two alkyl substituents to be considered while sec, ter, tri, di, etc. will not be considered. To understand that, let's take a quick example at this uh, structure here. You can see that the numbering is done from this side and not from this side because the branched carbon should get the lowest number. So here branched carbon will be at C2 position but if you number from this side, branched carbon will be at C3 position. Hence, this is the correct way of numbering and you can see that the substituents are at 2nd, 2, 5 and 7 position. Now, if you try to uh, name this particular compound, you can see that the name of this compound would be 5-sec-butyl-2,7-dimethylnonine because sec will not be essentially considered in the fundamental naming of IUPAC nomenclature. However, if it was an isopropyl or isobutyl group, that would be considered alphabetically but in this case sec will not be considered in alphabetical naming of norm, uh, in, uh, organic compounds. Now the next rule we can see that if there are two chains of equal length in that case what should be the criteria to select the parent chain. This is a very important concept because a uh, lot of questions come based on this particular concept. To understand that let us have a quick look at this particular structure here and you can see that if you name it from this side also you get 10. And if you name it from this side, also you have 10 carbon atoms and in both the cases, there is a major branching that is happening at 5th position. So you can have see that while naming from here, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you have branching at 3rd and 5th position. If you number from this side also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you are branching at 3rd and 5th position. So now there is a confusion as to which chain should I take, should I consider this particular chain as parent chain or should I consider this particular chain as parent chain and this as a substituent. So in this case you must always take note that that chain or that side chain will be taken as your uh, for parent chain which has more number of branching. Now how do we determine more number of branching? We saw that in both the cases branching is happening at the third position and if you look at this side you can see that it is an ethyl group. But here you have two methyl groups that means this particular carbon has more branching as compared to this particular carbon. For the same reason this will be your major parent chain and this will simply act as your substituent. So you can see that here the more branched carbon will be considered for a parent chain and this will consequently become your substituent and the name of this particular compound would be 5,2-ethyl-butyl, 3,3-dimethyl-decane and not 5,2,2-dimethyl-butyl, 3-ethyl-decane which will be the name if you consider this as your parent chain. In the next video, we will see some of the examples and try to use all the rules that we have studied so far to actually name uh, organic compounds using IUPAC nomenclature.